The congressman did, did depart, and uh, he's passed the baton on to a close colleague and friend of his, and a very close friend of the trail community, who we're going to honor this evening. And that's just standing to my right is Congressman Jerry Connolly from the 11th District of Virginia. And uh, one of the things that I can say with confidence is that I, I knew him before he became famous, well, famous in the, at the federal level, as a, when he was supervisor of the county of Northern Virginia where I live, Fairfax County. Some of you probably live in Fairfax Ooh. County. And one of the, there you go, see there, some other uh, residents. <laughs> might, even be, might even be in your uh, district there, Derek. But one of the things that I wanted to underscore with Congressman Connolly is that trails, public space, and access to those tremendously important resources is nothing new to Jerry Connolly. And, I, and, I, and Jerry, you may remember that about three or four years ago, we were together on the days out at Scott's Run, you know, just off of uh, the Potomac River on the Potomac Heritage National Scenic Trail, celebrating National Trails Day together, when he was still a Fairfax County super, the super, uh, chair of the Board of Supervisors, speaking on behalf of trails on National Trails Day, in a, and really was emblematic of the commitment that Congressman Connolly has had for, for many years as a public servant in terms of the importance of trails, <laughs> Uh, one great accomplishment of his is the cross-county trail that some of you that, that know in the greater Northern Virginia and Fairfax County specifically. It is very difficult to get cross-jurisdictional agreements on some very and very high-density population areas. And uh, with his leadership, we've been able to see it's, what, 20? 41 miles. 41 miles now. And in addition, he's been a real champion for filling some of the gaps in the Potomac Heritage National Scenic Trail. In addition, I think everyone knows that um, he is, has long been a member of the Congressional Trails Caucus with us and has been a very active supporter and has hiked the hill with us. In fact, uh, Jerry, you may remember three years ago, it was after a very bad uh, uh, blizzard, 2010, as a matter of fact, we were on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial for our inaugural hike on the mall, and Jerry and I had the good fortune to do a, uh, a live interview with the Fox News anchor on the steps of Lincoln Memorial as part of Hike the Hill. And so, and you may remember that, and that was, that was really pretty exciting. And one of the things that we really also want to recognize this evening uh, in, in Congressman Connolly's uh, accomplishments is last year in the, in the 112th Congress, he introduced a very important bill, but it died in committee, as I recall. And through his leadership in the 113th Congress, uh, Congressman Connolly has reintroduced the Complete America's Great Trails Act. And I, I just want that to sink in because many of you have just come from a meeting talking about land acquisition easements, and this is something that, that Congressman Connolly has recognized to provide the kind of tax incentive. Maybe I'm stealing some of your thunder here, but I'll go ahead. Uh, and this is very important to each and every one of us in here because if you have the kind of financial and economic mechanisms that can make these kind of key transactions, whether it's an outright... Uh, uh, Congressman Connolly has been in the vanguard for us in so many ways, locally as well as nationally, so we are very proud to recognize Congressman Connolly uh, this evening as our second annual Congressional Trailblazer. So, uh... Thank you so much, Greg, and it's great to be with you again. And uh, for a minute, I thought I was getting one of Earl Blumenauer's old boots. <laughs> Trails are uh, a labor of love for me and have been my whole public career. And, um, and I want to thank you for what each and every one of you are doing. Uh, and Greg, thanks so much for that, uh, that wonderful introduction. Greg talked about the cross-county trail, 
in my community, and it's worth just sort of uh, using it as an example of what you can do. Uh, we had Trails Day one year, about oh, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, and um, I you know, hiked the trail. And it was roughly 38 miles, something like that, and it went through the spine of the county. It was all Stream Valley. You would never know you were in a big urban county with a million people. I mean, you could be in Oregon. <laughs> Where everything is pure and perfect. <laughs> and, and I think Earl has already left. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, we can start that uh, And uh, so, uh, anyway, I, the, I thought, well, why don't we make this actually a cross-county trail instead of just, you know, traversing it? And it was a series of existing trails, but they weren't connected. So we thought, well, you know, to have a 40-mile trail designated as a cross-county trail, all we needed was, I forget, you know, 11 miles. <laughs> and so I worked with the local trails, uh, the private trails committee, and we rolled up our sleeves and we negotiated with owners about easements, we negotiated with HOAs that owned it, we nego negotiated with the Virginia Department of Transportation, we negotiated with schools, private property, public property, uh, every time they had a problem, we helped them solve it, and uh, and we got it done. Now, the day I announced the cross county trail that you know I want to start this, and uh, you know at the board of supervisors, which is the governing body of our county, uh, I of course thought laurel leaves, rose petals at my feet, <laughs> brilliant idea. So the first group to come out against the cross county trail was the official county trails committee. Because <laughs> from there, they each had their pet little projects, you know, and they thought for sure this would be the sucking sound that ate all trail money in the community. So I had a promise, no, no, we'll finance it. No. All right, we got it done. And of course, it's the most popular amenity of our park system in Fairfax County. Uh, and, uh, and, and, but we did have you know, trials and tribulations. We can do the same at the national level. Um, ten, 10 of the 11 National Scenic Trails are incomplete. And even the Appalachian Trail, the one officially complete, still has missing pieces if you've you know, hiked it. Uh, and so we have some work to do. And the bill is a fairly simple premise. Let's use tax credits to reward people who grant us easements. Um, and so one of the reasons it died in committee is because the Ways and Means Committee, where it has to go, will not put a cost estimate to it. My God, you know. Well, we're not going to break the Bank of the United States finishing trails. We can work it out. But for goodness sake, wouldn't that be an incredible legacy for this Congress to give to future generations uh, by saying we completed all of the National Scenic Trails in America. And, uh, and so I need your help. I need you to bring that message to my colleagues. I need you to urge them to get on the bill. Uh, so we show some support. We show some strength. And, I, and again, I thank you so much for what you're doing, um, and, and I share your passion, uh, and, uh, and I want to make this a reality. Now, one final thing. Uh, we chose this room deliberately. <laughs> you are our... No, that, this is it. This is the room where we Democrats are going to put global climate deniers, <laughs> and they get to stay here until they cry, uncle. Uh, so thank you for trying it out for us. Obviously it works. It seems to work. Uh, the only thing we're not going to provide are refreshments, however. That's way too good. So anyway, thank you for being here. Uh, do your, your work on the Hill. We're glad you're here. And we're glad you're committed to the same cause we are. Thanks so much for making America better.